welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse, and we have a, an amazing guest with us again. Hi, Lucas. Hi. We are here to talk again about 2211, and one of the biggest features that you'll see is the ability to add web pages to the OPAC. Now you can easily, from the tools module, go in, add a page, whether you want it to appear in your menu or your navigation or the center block. We're going to show you how to create those, and Lucas is here to explain the details with us. So I'm going to start with the end result. So I'm going to show you two examples that Jesse and I cooked up um, just to kind of, you know, play around with the, the feature, which I think is amazing and it's so helpful and it's going to really change some libraries lives is in my opinion. Um, so this is just one of our example sites and we added a new page in our staff interface and we named it electronic collection. So we created an entirely new web page that links to our OPAC. Now, something that Jesse didn't say is you could use this for the OPAC or the staff interface. So this doesn't have to be a public link on your OPAC. It can truly be staff focused as well. Oh, I just thought about this. You could use it as a staff intranet page. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, the options are limitless, really. Really? So it probably looks really complicated, but we'll show you how easy it is. And we've got the expert here. So if if we stumble along, we, we've got Lucas to help us out. <laughs> um, so this was Jesse's idea geared towards academics. I created one for more of our public focused libraries. I added it again. I added it to the top as well, new to the library. And I'm thinking about all those, you know, blog web pages that we have as you know, libraries where there is information that wouldn't it be great if we could have it on the catalog so they don't have to search around. So I started this, you know, skeleton web page that would give a place for users to come and get that information, such as browse our digital, digital collections, meet our staff, and these will all eventually be links. I created another page that just talks about our digital collections. So again, page can be connected to pages that can be connected to pages. Like that's this whole process. I'm sure Lucas, you've been asked about this many times as you've made OPACs for our partners. Mm -hmm. And I, I would just want to say that one of the coolest things uh, about this to me is that it, it picks up all the styles you already have in your OPAC from, from OPAC user CSS and, and in your headers in your footers in your search bar. So as you're creating new content, it kind of will already just fit in line with your, your marketing and your branding. Um, if you have your hours in your footer, they're going to be on this page. Um, and, and that's really awesome. So oh, I didn't even think about that. That's great. It's like they're not leaving. They're not mm -hmm. leaving the their house of the, the library. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and can we just do a shout out to Lucas? He designed both of those sites that you just saw. <laughs> yeah. Lucas designed both of the, um, both this display and our um, more academic focus. So his design is awesome. Okay. So how does one do this? The, you know, way back, I don't know, 1705, we created more of a news feature and we were slowly mm -hmm. moving over customizations for the OPAC um, over to that news feature. Well, the news feature actually got too big and they broke it out into HTML customizations. And now they've broken it out further into pages. So we have news still, which would focus on those news sides, mm -hmm. um, HTML customizations, which we'll go into, which is going to just, you know, focus on those old system preferences like, um, at OPAC nav ride, OPAC credits, they're still focused on that. And then we have a new one called pages. So the pages is where you're going to be able to create those, in essence, web pages that we showed you. And if you're already used to using news and HTML customizations, uh, pages will should come real natural to you. It's the exact same um, sort of thing. Absolutely correct. So I'm going to pop over to this library information page that I showed you. I'm just going to hit edit again. As Lucas said, it's all the same as we've been used to for, for quite a while. 
We get the nice WYSIWYG. So we are able to do a lot of this through just those buttons mm-hmm. that we can, you know, make things bold, change the color, add links, um, you know, format that information. So here, this is what we saw on one of the test sites. This, in fact, is a whole nother web page, and I just linked it out to that web page, and I'll show you how you can get that information. But again, if we wanted to say, oh, let's create a page that says meet your staff, we can we can do that and then link that here. And so we'll do that just for fun. So I'm going to go back out to this page. And then again, just as Lucas said, new entry is going to create a new page. A lot of the similar stuff that we ever always saw in the news feature is showing at the top. Where do you want this focused? I said earlier, it can be OPAC mm-hmm. focused. So it's going to be an OPAC link or, you know, a public link or a private link. So again, you can have those links display information, whatever, but you are going to have to drive where that link shows up. So once you create your web page, then you decide where that link is going to show up. Um, Again, same information you always have here. And so if I can say this is meet our staff and I'll say Jesse. I should have like had this all so I could have just, and I'll put Lucas. We love watching you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and I will say the WYSIWYG is a huge help, especially if you, do, you don't know the... Um, you know, aspects to write HTML. We are going to share a link. Lucas shared a good one with us. Um, and we'll put that in the blog post as well. That just gives you some tips when you're creating pages. You'll notice that you can switch between both like the HTML view and um, the regular WYSIWYG view. So again, it makes it really easy. No matter which skill level you have, you can come in here, bold things, change the font, um, do justification, add a link, um, add in emojis, you know, whatever you want to add into um, this particular view. Yeah. Oh, emo- emojis. Let's do that. Oh, there. Okay. I'm going to hit save. There we go. Put a little heart after your name, Jesse. All right. Um, then once you've created that page, this is going to actually going to give you the URL. So I can open this link in a new tab and I'm going to see the link I just created. And this is the link right here. This is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it in my original page. So it's a link off of a link. So here we are, meet your staff. Again, this WYSIWYG could not be easier Mm -hmm. um, for how to create this page. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home, see what I've created. And there we go. So now we have like more links, meet your staff. Here's another link. (gasps) Awesome. I'm crazy. The little heart there. And now you could also take that link and move over to HTML customizations and put that in the, um, in the OPAC footer if you wanted to, or the OPAC header or, or anywhere that you decided you wanted that link to live. Absolutely. So as, as Lucas is saying here, I have HTML customizations and we use this, um, to put our links in already. So if we wanted to go ahead and put it in my OPAC nav, right, I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Those links are already created mm-hmm. or like what it already lives on my OPAC is already created. So I could just say there. Oh, I can just do this actually. And then we can just link using that link we already created. Hit save. Don't forget to ever save your work as we both, we learned in school or I learned in school. I'm gonna go back to my home and over here, meet our staff. And there it is. Woo. Woo. So, I mean, think about the, the, you know, options here, Mm -hmm. newsletters, you could link anything out. You could link anything to anything really thing we're going to give you some resources on you know further customizations you know if you wanted to get super fancy outside of the WYSIWYG we'll share those I think that anybody who's created these or wants to share what they've done please do so I think anyone sharing it in the 
maybe the Bywater Slack channel would be helpful for other people to get some great ideas. And I know Lucas um, has probably seen other folks and is happy to to share whatever he's seen as well. So it's good to kind of um, play around with it. All right, Lucas, thank you for joining us. Of course, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> And all of us are signed up for the Coa Community Challenge, which starts today. If you have not signed up, it is never too late to join us in the Spring into Fitness Coha Community Challenge. Join the community, get into fitness or gardening or crafting or whatever you want to do for your fitness. That's right. Okay. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Bye.